What you'll notice behind me is this bookshelf here, which is filled with basically personal development books and business books and things that teach me how to live a better life. Personal development guides, this sort of thing. However, what I want to explain in this video is why for the vast majority of people, they're a waste of time. You shouldn't read books. You know, you don't need to read books in order to live the best life that you can possibly live. Now, of course, a lot of you are thinking, well, reading's part of my routine, you know, it's essential, it's important to learn new information, and I completely agree with you. However, there is a principle known as the need to know basis, right? Which basically dictates that you should only learn something new when you absolutely need to know that information. An example of this is say if you're starting a, web, uh, a business and you're creating your first website, at that point you need to know how to host a website, how to research domain names, how to choose a WordPress theme, okay, these sorts of things, because you need to know them then in order to implement it and actually take action and do the thing. You don't need to know how to code CSS at that point because for, the mo for most of you, you don't need to know that until later on down the line when you want to customize the site. You don't need to know anything else. You just need to know how to start the website, how to pick a theme, and how to launch it. It's on a need to know basis. If you start learning advanced CSS techniques and how to customize particular plugins and codes and stuff like this, what all that's gonna do is completely overwhelm you. Your brain will get overwhelmed. You'll start thinking there's too much there. The learning curve's too steep. I give up and you walk away from the potential of what you could be by doing that thing. This happens all the time, absolutely all the time with various different industries, topics, niches, whatever. People start getting interested in a certain thing. Let's say people get interested in things like, let's say someone wants to improve their health, okay? They wanna, they wanna get healthier. What they'll typically do is they'll start thinking of all the things they could learn about health and they'll start reading book after book after book of all these different things. They'll read a book about diet, then another one about intermittent fasting, and then another one about you know, meditation, another one about fitness, strength exercises, body weight exercises, workout plans and routines. And what happens? Completely overwhelmed. They get completely overwhelmed and intimidated by the huge sums of information that they have tried to consume. And so what happens is they give up. They just think, oh, it's too complicated for me. The learning curve is too steep. So I'm just going to give up, walk away from all that, leave that over there. That could be avoided if you just do this one simple thing. And it's something that I've been doing for several years. Every time I read something, whether it's a book, an article or whatever it is, I try and implement that thing as quickly as possible. OK, you want to take that information that you've learned from the book or from the article and you wanna put that into action as soon as you possibly can. Let's say if you read an investing tip and it says, for a finance tip for example, it says a good way of saving wealth and becoming financially free is to save 10% of your income. And let's say the tip is you should automate it so that when you get your paycheck, automatically 10% goes into an investment account. You read that and you think that's actually quite good advice. Yeah, I can see that working, that logically checks out. I think that's a good idea. That's a good habit to build. Don't read anything else. Put the book down and then do that thing. Set up that automated investment and then go back to the book when you're ready to learn more. This applies to everything. Absolutely everything you read. You don't, you don't want to get to the point where you have so much information in your head, but you're not doing anything with it. You're not doing anything with the information because the information's out there anyway. The information's on Google and websites. You can always get the information. What really matters is can you take the info and put it into action in your life to actually use it. If you can't use it, it's pretty much a waste of time. So, so anytime you read something, anytime you learn something new, you know, use it. Use it as quickly as you possibly can. If you deem it to be good information, good advice, just implement it as soon as you can. And I guarantee your life will change because for so long I was just, I would read article after article about everything, like how to improve confidence, how to make a YouTube channel, how to write a blog article, how to learn a language, all of these things, I'd be swimming in this information. I'd have pages and pages of stuff, you know, dozens of tabs open, but I wouldn't do anything with it. It was just wasted. I was wasting my time because as soon as I'd read one article and I'd thought, oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Maybe I'll do that one day. Then the next article comes along and the next one, and the next one, and soon enough, I've forgotten about what I read in the first article, even though that might have been a good idea. It's gone. It's been buried by all the other information. So don't overload yourself with information. If you learn something, or if you read something that sounds like it will be useful to you, 
use that thing. And don't read anything else until you've implemented that one particular piece of advice or that one thing. Trust me, this is going to help you out a lot. Done.